Welcome to Seattle. It's that time. We just got to the Seattle Tacoma Airport to pick up my sister who just flew in from California. This is a big deal for me because this is hard to find. Do not drive in downtown Seattle. I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. The <laughs> largest Ferris wheel on the West Coast. We're on vacation. We can do what we want. Yeah, I can eat half of it. Welcome back everyone to our final few days of adventures. Join us as we explore Seattle and make our way to our final destination of this trip. We are leaving the Olympic Peninsula today. We've had quite a good stay here. Out of all of our stops, this one was definitely a favorite for different reasons. Uh, we just enjoyed being at the place we rented. It looked right at the water, it was gorgeous, and the peninsula itself was pretty cool. But we're headed out. We are headed to Tacoma, and fortunately our drive's only about two hours. My sister is flying in tonight, so she's going to be joining us for the remainder of this trip. We really only have one day planned. We're not sure what we're gonna do with the other days. It kind of depends on the weather, but it's kind of up in the air and we'll just see how things go. We are headed towards Tacoma. We have about, well, only 10 minutes. Woohoo! Killing it. All right, we just got here. We're in Tacoma. We're about to check into our Airbnb. Let's go see what it looks like, everybody. All right, since we've been touring every place we've been so far, this is the living room. Quite spacious. The balcony, the great Yorkie lookout. Who's out there? Who's out there? It's actually a very large kitchen. Nice little single bed right here. Bedroom number two. And then we have the one bathroom <gasps> and our room. Anyways, we gotta unpack everybody. So I've been searching all the time for different types of protein. I like to have something that's easy to add to milk and they finally have a certified gluten-free whey protein at Costco. This is a big deal for me because this is hard to find. I'm gonna test it out right now and see how it tastes. This is good. It's that time we just got to the Seattle Tacoma Airport to pick up my sister who just flew in from California and she'll be spending the next week with us exploring Washington. This is a big airport. We picked up family in Alaska. Piece of cake. Maine, piece of cake. SFO, little busy, but we've been there before a few times. But this is busy right now. Casey's here! Woohoo! And Casey, hello! We got it! Woo! Let's get out of here! All right, we are headed to Seattle today to do all the touristy things. We have a friend who lives in this area and recommended do not drive in downtown Seattle, which we weren't wanting to anyways. We drove to one of the terminals at, at Angle Lake. We're parked here. We're gonna catch whatever public transport is here. So it's about a 40 minute trip, it said, from here into downtown Seattle. So we're gonna go check it out. It's free today. We happen to be here on MLB Home Run Derby Day at the Mariners Stadium in Seattle. So we're catching parking for free and the light rail for free. Welcome to Seattle. We finally made it. We just took the light rail from Angle Station all the way to University Street. We're gonna walk to Pike's Place first. Uh, the light rail is actually really nice. If you've ridden the BART in San Francisco, which I have quite a few times, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. The light rail so far is a thumbs up. We just made it to the Public Market Center at Pike's Place Market, established in 1907. We're about to do a tour and walk around this thing. So apparently if you buy one, they will let you throw and catch it. So we're about to see a couple who just bought one. Huh? I don't even know what to get. Two G for Ashley! Two G for Ashley! Yeah. I want to catch you on. They throw them for show apparently, and then if you buy one, you can throw it and or catch it or both. Go. 
Chocolate like pasta? Like no. Casey, come here. Chocolate pasta. Alright. We also have savory flavors at Food Free. She loves it. No, I have Are you gonna buy any chocolate pasta? Uh, no. But I've actually never had raw pasta like that before. That was the first time. This is kind of cool. This is the very first Starbucks ever created. The OG. I don't know. Are you waiting in that line, Casey? Uh, no, no. Holy smoke. You saw the very first one. It goes one. both ways. Look at it. It goes all the way that way. We've been here for two hours and the first thing we stopped to get was? Truffle Queen. What did you get? A peach bellini. And um, you can walk around wherever with them. So. What does it taste like? It tastes like Stella Rosa peach. Is really what it tastes like. Is it good? It's really good. It's a wine like spritzer kind of. Right? Prosecco, I think. Prosecco. Oh. Three Girls Bakery. Cookies, they've got muffins, they've got turnovers, and pie pies, croissants, everything. Except gluten free. So, is, are you the three girls that own it? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. You have to do one of the apricot cream cheese. Number five <laughs> baked good. No, that was four. We're about to get five. Three Girls Bakery just sold half their inventory. The two people drinking wine slushies. Buy your stuff and then drink. Don't drink in the shop. Oh, I love these big cups. We literally had bought nothing for two and a half hours and halfway down with the wine slushie and we're already on our third thing we're buying. As you know from our videos, I always get a souvenir wherever we go. And we also collect coffee cups. When we were living in Alaska, we were invited to Thanksgiving with the people we were renting from and they served us like coffee and hot chocolate after we ate dinner and we thought it was really cool because every coffee cup that they brought out was from a different part of the country. So we have now started collecting coffee cups everywhere we go for that same reason. Is that the line? Well, we are gonna get a pizza, but it's $35. We are not gonna pay $35 for a pizza. Alright everybody, we are going to the Ferris wheel now. We just left the Pice Place Market and we are trying to find our way there. The Seattle Great Wheel is the tallest Ferris wheel on the west coast at 175 feet. Here we go! We're getting high right now in Seattle. Spencer, this is the highest hill have ever been, 175 feet above sea level. The largest Ferris wheel on the west coast. Oh, wow. Ooh, Puget Sound? Yeah. We're looking up. Very fun. If you get motion sick, eh, not too bad, but very high. If you don't like heights, probably not the best okay, thing. Okay, I'm trying to get you to convince Casey to chew some gum and put it on the, the gum wall here in Seattle. He's very thrilled about this idea, as you can tell. Color you wanted, then you got that color. Oh, I can do it, Blue. Okay, we gotta chew it and start getting it ready. This, this group's cheering you on. Oh, no. I have not had a gumball in so long. I forgot how hard it was to chew. Do you know the story behind the gum wall? So apparently, there was a musician going to play in some bar or restaurant, and he was chewing gum, and they told him no gums allowed. So it's kind of like a in their face. He took his gum out and stuck it on the wall behind the building. Huh. Now you know. So she's making me walk up all of these stairs to go look at a nasty gum wall to put gum on it. That's right. Great day. When in Seattle. Where are you going for it? Huh? You just put it on your finger so your finger doesn't touch anything else. Uh, there's like a little bit of spot. No. Good job, Casey. <laughs> oh. Carrie specifically told Casey she had hand sanitizer. That was part of the deal to do this, and we have a fibber. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's just get out of here. Okay, next up, we are gonna catch an Uber and head to the Space Needle. Casey ordered us an Uber. It's a freaking red Tesla. Okay, we're bullshit. This is your first Seattle. time riding in a Tesla. We are at the Seattle Space Center. This Space Needle. Super touristy today. The Seattle Space Needle was built for the 1962 World's Fair. The design was inspired by the idea for a structure to symbolize humanity's space age aspirations. It is 605 feet tall with a 360 degree view from the top. While touring, you get to learn the history of the Space Needle and how it was built. At the top, there is a floor to ceiling glass viewing experience. It is an open air observation deck and has sky riser glass benches. Yeah, I, I can't let go of this. Yeah, it's. <laughs> My legs are like tense. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No. Can you uh, believe no. The view from the yeah. top! The upper level, also known as the loop, is the world's first and only rotating glass floor. It moves super slow, like one revolution an hour, but she is moving. We just concluded our day in Seattle of being tourists. Oh. 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 So we're gonna yeah. figure out what we're gonna do for dinner, head home and relax, and then go do some more exploring tomorrow. Thanks for joining us in Seattle. Next week we head towards Mount Rainier National Park and stay in the most picturesque Follow me Washington in. cabin in the woods. Oh baby. I hope it gets cold tonight. That bowl's way too full for you. You gotta get eat half of it. At least it's got a handle. Makes it easy to take along. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody.